religion plays an important role in our society. One such religion is Sikhism. As you can see from this map, so many people follow Sikhism, even in India and even in foreign countries such as USA and Canada. So let us see how this religion began. You see, Sikhism emerged during the 15th century right here in India. And it is said that Guru Nanak Dev is the one who founded this Sikh religion. So let us learn more about this Guru Nanak Dev. He was born in 1469 in a district called Talwandi, which is in present-day Pakistan. His father's name was Mehta Kalu and that of his mother was Tripta. Even from childhood, he was very compassionate and like other boys and girls of his age used to play games outside, he did not indulge in that. Instead, he used to take up a corner of his house and meditate for long hours. He was not even interested in studies in his school. So, as we saw, Guru Nanak Dev was very compassionate since his childhood where he grew up to become a very important saint. And he was inspired by both the philosophies of Hinduism as well as the philosophies of Islam. Other than that, he was the one to preach about Nirguna worship. Nirguna worship means that you worship a god who is formless. Nirguna means formless. So you cannot visualize your god. He preached along with his followers at many different places. And his followers came to be known as Sikhs. In fact, Guru Nanak Dev is considered the first Sikh Guru. Now let's take a look at this painting here. This painting was made by William Carpenter in 1854. This here shows us the interior or the inside of the golden temple. As you can see here, many people can be seen playing musical instruments and a book is kept on a red cushion. This book is in fact very important. Its name is Guru Granth Sahib and that's the holy book for the Sikh people. So Guru Granth Sahib is the holy book of the Sikhs and the book preaches about equality and teaches that men and women are equal and one should practice kindness, compassion and love. Can you answer this question? What is the holy book of the Sikhs? Is it Quran, Bhagavad Gita, Bible or Guru Granth Sahib? The correct answer is Guru Granth Sahib. Now let us take a look at what is inside this book. So now let's see the teachings of Guru Nanak. Firstly, he emphasized the importance of worshipping just one God. According to Guru Nanak, there is only one God that is present. Now, this God that we worship is Nirguna or formless. So we cannot exactly visualize this God. Now we can't visualize this God, right? That is why there is no concept of idol worshipping. So Guru Nanak rejected the concept of idol worshipping. And even in this day and age, you will not find sick people worshipping idols. Apart from that, he also rejected complex rituals that was there during that point of time in India. He said that these rituals are completely unnecessary. He also rejected the caste system. As we already saw that he wanted equality. He preached about equality, right? And that was exactly what the caste system was against. Because according to this caste system, some people were more important and they could easily exploit other people. So, this is why he rejected this caste system and said that all of us are equal. He also believed in gender equality and encouraged women to join the order. वेण बोलिया सब किच जान दा वेण बोलिया सब किच जान दा वेल वाजंट दैट ब्यूटीफुल व्हाट यू जस्ट हर्ड वाज नोन एज शब्द कीर्तन और डिवोशनल हिम्स और songs that the Sikh people sing. So they sing this to spread the message of Nirguna Bhakti or the fact that God is 
formless. Other than that, his devotees would gather in a building. Where would they sing this song? So, they would gather in buildings which were known as Dharamshala. So, later on, these buildings got to be known as Gurudwaras, which are in fact the places of worship for the Sikh people. Take a look at this picture here. Here you can see several people playing musical instruments, singing. Other than that, here is the Guru Granth Sahib. So basically, because there is no concept of idol worshipping, the Sikh people, they go to such Gurudwaras, which is their place of worship, and they bow down their heads to the Guru Granth Sahib, and they pray there. Now let us see another important incident in Guru Nanak's life. So now, when Guru Nanak grew up a little bit, his father wanted him to handle a few responsibilities. His father wanted him to be responsible and earn money. So one day, after consulting with his wife, he said that now that you are old, you should get this 20 rupees and go to the market and invest it in some profitable business and that you should earn profit by using fair means. So Guru Nanak remembered his father's words, took the 20 rupees, and left his house. Now, after a while, he comes across a grove and sees a few sadhus. These sadhus are deep into meditation and he feels very much inspired by that. Now, again, he remembers his father's words that he must invest this 20 rupees in some profitable business. So he now knows what he's supposed to do. He goes to the nearby market and buys fruits and sweets for these sadhus. These sadhus then get this food and they eat it. They were hungry for a couple of days. And so, after eating the food, they feel very happy and they bless Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak bows his head down in reverence and leaves for his home. Now, when his father gets to know that Guru Nanak has spent all of his hard-earned money on sadhus, he becomes furious and he even slaps Guru Nanak. Then Guru Nanak innocently explains that, Father, you were the one who told me to invest in a profitable business. And what could be more profitable than this? That was exactly the story of how Langars began. You must have heard about langars. So what are these? Langar is a meal which is organized in dharamshalas. And this is a place where people from different walks of life come together and eat together. So this promotes equality as well. And this has been done since Guru Nanak's time and it is continued in this day and age. So we saw how Guru Nanak Dev was the one who founded this religion called Sikhism. He was born in 1469 and he died in Kartarpur, which is in present Pakistan, in 1539. He inspired many people with his teachings. And even in this day and age, many people follow his religion. In fact, approximately 30 million Sikhs are there worldwide, making this the fifth largest religion today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So, at Delta Step, Learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So, register for free now.